Hi everybody. Wanted to do another video on uh, repairing brake lathes. Uh, this one's going to be about resurfing this face on the arbor and some other arbor issues I wanted to talk about. This is a perfectly brand new arbor. It's nice and flat right here. This is the only true place on the machine. We need to keep this nice. If somebody leaves everything loose on the machine and walks away and the machine stalls and it spins on the shaft, you'll get galling around here that'll make it almost impossible to mount anything consistently straight on the machine. If that happens, you need to uh, reface this portion of the arbor. This one is perfect. I'm not going to mess with it. So I'm going to switch out an old beat up one I have just to show you how to do it. <clears throat> If you can see that in the picture but there's like grooves around here and stuff okay this one's not that bad but a lot of them are much worse if you look there's a like goober right there okay that's not good on a small rotor this stuff wouldn't matter on a big rotor it does matter so <clears throat> we're gonna start off by lapping in the arbor It's very important that the arbor is solidly in the machine. And by solidly, I mean it's got to be well locked in on this face and this face. <clears throat> and the way to ensure that is to lap it in there. See, that pitting right there is not good, but <clears throat> it's been lapped in there, so even though that's there, it should be pretty solid in there. <clears throat> this arbor here is already trashed. The threads have been worn off the other end of it.
Okay, to do that, we need to come in here with the drum tool. We're going to take the tool out of here on this side of the twin cutter. I think that's the one. <clears throat> Mount up our drum bar a little bit different than we normally do. We're going to put this tool in there upside down like this. And it's kind of tricky getting it to come in and cut what you want or how you want. Because the angles. <clears throat> but this will do it. Like the way it chattered there, I think I can do it better. <clears throat> Change the angle.
Okay. <clears throat> what we're looking for is a really flat surface. So this, forget about, you know, it, it's not so much about what it looks like. It's that it's cut to a, to true. So even if there was like chatter on it, like when I cut it the first time, that would have been fine. <clears throat> as long as we don't have any lumps or bumps around this thing. Like if you see one of these that has a dent on the edge, <clears throat> that dent, you could get away with that on a small rotor, but on bigger rotors, that's a major issue. So this, if you have some a galling issue, you should probably come in and set it up so that you can recut this face. And if you do it carefully, um, you'll be very impressed with the results as far as the consistency of your cuts coming out like right on the money all the time. Um, once it's done that galling thing where it's like made lumps as it goes around there, it's almost impossible to get it to be consistently straight. <clears throat> this face and the first cup being key relies on this face being good. If it's too messed up, it's too messed up and you buy a new arbor. But a lot of times what happened is somebody spun the arbor or sp stalled the machine and it spun with the tooling on the arbor and it galled the heck out of this. If they're using aluminum cups on the inside, that's not a problem. But if it's a steel cup, it can be a problem. Also, it's really important to keep this clean. So if somebody's... Uh, put dirty cups and cones on there a million times it's created like dents and high and low spots in there cleaning this up to a exactly true face um, takes care of a lot of the problems that you can run into related to the arbor this arbor is just worn out uh, about all it's good for is doing this demonstration or cutting it off and using it as a press tool um, once the threads are that far gone, it's it's kind of lost its versatility. Anyway, thanks for your time. I hope this helps you guys with your problems. Thanks. Bye.